Okay, dear student, for the wild palm breeding, so I want to show you now. You can see this is the inflorescence. Eh? So this is not yet mature. Eh? Not yet mature. So you can see this is the uh, 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 this is a bounce of inflorescence. So here I have so many, 32, uh, more than uh, 30 usually we found. So here you can see this is every every one is a single inflorescence. So every single inflorescence there when they, the flower is an open flower you can see. You can see the flower is not yet open. That means the anthesis period not yet acid. When the anthesis period is for every, this has so many so millions of flower here, so many flower. So every flower, and uh, that means uh, millions of pollen inside the flower. So they are have every single inflorescence. There are so many about 30, 50 so many flowers, small small flowers in every single inflorescence. So entirely so many if we cannot count actually so this is a unopened or immature inflorescence so in that plant that i have already found one uh, on one inflorescence that already bloomed that means you can see that one this one already achieved the anthesis so so many pollen here if you see this one you see the powdery you see so even if you touch the hair so so many pollen they are shedding so many pollen so you have so many pollens here so normally while i shake you can see so many powder here yeah? all this all this you can see so that means they are shedding the pollen so already immature and achieved the anthesis that means ready to shed the pollen but unfortunately in that plant there is no uh, female flower now those are already uh, about to mature huh? this one all about to mature so the shedding of this male is unsuccessful now there is they cannot fertilize any related female flowers here so you can see already dead there are so many male inflorescence in that plant compared to female so here have only two female that already successfully produce the fruits here so uh, all others you can see the dead inflorescence so all this already dead male inflorescence so this is so when if if there is any male inside so uh, beside here or surrounding here if there is any male new male flower uh, here male inflorescence so easily they will fertilize by wind or by any other insect so they have one commercial very well-known insect that is called Elaidobius camerunicus they usually stay inside the oil palm so they help in the they visit to the male flower from and go to the female flower to help in fertilization so see this 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 insect this uh, 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 this battle is usually called battle so this battle is imported from africa to help in pollination in palm oil so okay so in in that plant so i want to show you you can see so many new seedling already grown here so some of the you can see so many seedling so this you can see the from the shaded the from the shaded fruit so you can see this is new seedling of the wild palm so this one is very new new seedling but they are the f2 because this plant is f1 that is the hybrid tenera tenera variety but this one is f2 plant so this f2 plant is usually segregated so that you can uh, we can say that the quality is not uh, same or desirable with the parent so you can see the fruit is very very nice very bigger in size and the shape inside during our uh, theory lecture i will show inside the the flesh the kernel how it looks like but this one is maybe another uh, few days it will be mature then we can harvest that one so i will try to find any other uh, plants if they are have female inflorescence then it will be very easier to understand how they are helping in pollination so this is our wild palm field in ems on the campus inside the campus this is the wild palm block four so i have tried to find the inflorescence that are about to shed in the anthesis period so luckily i have found one so now uh, my duty or my responsibility to find another one that is 
and uh, uh, I mean in in this is period of the female flower so I am showing you again and how the pollen you can see when you are shaking you can see so huge powder here yeah? you can see this one so you can see how many so all these are pollen so million millions of pollen so this is very amazing okay dear student I wanted to show you another female flower so very luckily I have found so you can see this is this one is the female flower so all the flower is open eh? so the inflorescence is very small so they are in the period of anthesis that means you can see the three curve stigma very clearly eh? so you can see this is this is a single inflorescence so one single inflorescence is carrying so many flowers so it is so here so many flowers you can see so all are they're very shiny so they that means they are at the stage of pollination so now urgently need the pollination so if we but unfortunately in this in this plant i couldn't find any male opposite side they have one but they about to i mean about to uh, expire so here you can see this is the flower so very nicely you can see all these are ready to receive the pollen that means the flower is completely bloomed so for now what to, what we have to do we have to bring the anthesis period that already achieved the anthesis period of the the male flower so that inflorescence we have to bring here for the for the uh, pollination so for the uh, uh, for to make it more easier for you so i have just single inflorescence i have bought some so you can see all here they have so many pollen so what you have to do on that we have to check so you can see so many powdery so that means he can help i am helping in pollination so usually like this okay so huge powder huge powder so hopefully they will receive the pollen so by this way we can do the pollination but this is open as they are hybrid and i am bringing this pollen for another flower and they are monoecious eh? so this is the cross pollination but open that this is not control so by this way we can help but usually the same plant supposed to have uh, the side by side male this opposite side have one male so if they are have the the they are have the uh, uh, we say the camerunicus uh, the the flower uh, the, the that means camerunicus the insect the it, the betel insect the supposed to help in the pollination so far inside me have so uh, that means camerunicus elidobius elidobius camerunicus one type of betel insect they help in pollination or by wind or by any other insect they can help so they have to visit the male flower then have to come here and by this way they can help so this is the single inflorescence of the male eh? so but it's a bunch of like a bunch of bunch of flower so this is a single so i am i'm showing you again this is one single from a big bunch of inflorescence so i am showing you again how to do the pollination like this eh? you can see huge pollen is still shedding so I am just keeping here, maybe the, the, it will be helpful for the pollination here. Okay, so this is the entire procedure, how we can do the pollination, cross pollination, that means they are monoecious. So the successful fruit setting. So after that, where if every flower they, and I am feeling the sticky here. Yes, so I am tossing the stigma. So it's still watery and sticky. So that means they can easily catch the pollen okay so that's all from today so i am i am very closely showing you the the anthesis period acid flower you can see so you can see a eh? three lobed three lobed flower so you can see so many flower here so looks very nice when they are ready to receive the pollen that means you can see very nice but this inflorescence the bounce of inflorescence is very small okay so yeah very amazing very amazing so many flowers they are ready to receive the pollen you can see okay hopefully later i will try to show in another plants how to do the pollination hybridization there for your better understanding so best of luck to everyone.